Okay. So this is the Flow Style Journal that I have made for my swap partner, Jackie. And this was a little bit of a challenge. The, um, the lace requirement was pretty high, and so I, I couldn't fit it in the actual journal. So, so I have a couple of outside packages. This one has lace, and uh, I've just wrapped it in some uh, nature. Nature was the theme, nature, which I love. And so I just wrapped that in some fabric strip, and this is wallpaper. And then, so all the lace went in there, and it's going to be separate. So I will tie that back up and include it in the packaging. And this is the same thing. Well, not lace. This is buttons. So I made just this little, this little package, which will have the buttons in it. There you go, some vintage buttons. I do include some buttons, I think. I don't know. I put them in. I think I've got everything in here that was the requirement. I hope, anyway. You know, we do these swaps, and they have themes, and they have requirements. You have to put so much of this and so much of that, or whatever, a minimum. We can add more if we want. So, here's my cover for my uh, nature journal theme, and as usual, I have painted a, um, a legal size file folder, and I'll, I'll pop up another little video of how this opens up, because I, I cut the file folder like this, and then I fold up the bottom to make it, I think it's like 9.5, possibly 10 inches. Anyway, it's so that it will fit into the flat rate envelope when I mail it. So it will it's a flat rate uh, soft envelope, like this one. I mail them in these, the padded flat rate envelopes. And so, okay, so we begin. There's the cover. It has, it's, I paint the whole thing, like I say, and then I fold it up. So it's all nature-y, a quick little nature painting. I love to do these. And then we open, and we have some napkins, which I love playing with, and I hope Jackie, this is for Jackie, and I hope she will like it too. And it, here's a thing of stickers, which I think we were supposed to include as well. I'm trying to remember. I'm going to have to go back and look at the list and make sure I don't need to add anything. But here's all the different papers, and I've been included some wallpaper and some wrapping paper and here's some interesting coffee dyed a coffee dyed this graph paper and included some of that. Here's some more naturey wallpaper scraps and here's a nature um, scrapbooking page of beach and shells and then there's some more scrapbooking paper scrapbooking here's some scrapbooking waterfalls and here's one with mountains of trees and and then here's just some stationary paper pretty flowers and butterflies and flowers I still have a lot of everybody's got butterflies and flowers that's we usually have a lot of that so fortunately they're nature too there's a little bird and so and that's a little birdie in nature and there's some of them are just filigree, but it's very naturey looking filigree. And there's some more wrapping paper I thought was very sweet and naturey. And then more flowers and naturey. And then here's some more scrapbook paper, which is um, this is one where I folded it up to include the whole piece because it looked cool. And then this is the center, but I'm going to hold that together because I want to do that last. So, um, so I have some more. I have some vintage stickers in here. Just lay a little wax paper bag. Some of my painty paper, just painted with acrylics. And then, and then it's just the other side of all that paper that we just looked at. So I'm just going to zoom through that real quick. And uh, so, and then. Uh, and then and I'm going to go back to the center now. Here's the center, which I always spend a lot of time on the center. So um, here's some little paper clips that I did, and here's 
These, I include these straws sometimes because these are fun to play with. You can make little paper clips out of them. And uh, so you just by snipping them and cut them, you can make a little thing that snip. I'll show it sometime. But anyway, so I include those. And so here are the paper clips. And here's a, v a tag. Um, I think we had to include four tags. We'll have to. I really need to refer to that list. And here's some more napkins and some greeting cards with beautiful uh, images on them that I thought went well with the the theme. And uh, so I'm tuck those back in there. And more of it's my favorite napkin. I think out of all my napkins, I think that's my favorite to play with. So more. Just naturey napkins, and here we have another. This is more of the painty paper back here, and this is uh, some coffee dyed paper that I did, and um, so included that because that's fun to play with. And then here's a little journal I did. I, you know what? I, it seemed like I did this very quickly. It might have altogether taken a little more time, but it's just made from a treat bag. This is a Wilton's treat bag. And uh, so I just folded it in half and I glued a little uh, cluster on there that I made the other day and a little tag that I made at some point. And I make a lot of this kind of stuff ahead and, and if I have it that's perfect, I just tuck it in. So anyway, so there's that, and then there's some coffee dyed paper, a few pages, I think there's about eight pages in here, coffee dyed paper, and then in here we have some, these are, I think they're ATC size cards, and there's birds and there's butterflies, um, a few, I think there's four of each, and those are from a download at, I'm going to get this right this time, Christy Art Design on Etsy. She has some really fun digital downloads and so I've purchased a few of them and so I cut those out and included those because I thought they would be fun. And then in here, this is also, uh, let's see, this is also um, Christy Art Design download, um, downloadable images and some of them are little bird they're little birds can you see in there little birds and there's some circle ones that are little birds so that's what I've popped in there so that'll be fun I hope and that just tucks right in and then I just tied it up with some fun fibers and put a little paper clip on it to make sure it stays closed with some more little fun fibers there. And then here are some fibers. We were supposed to include some. I went a little, I included a bunch. I, I think we were only supposed to include six maybe. I don't know. But um, anyway, so these are just fibers that I have in my stash. And I, you know, I'm, am I even in? Okay, yes. Uh, so I put those, those are all just, that's a, those are file folder scraps that I wrapped them around to put in there. And here's some more painted paper. And so that goes like that. And this goes in here like this. And I think I had this like this. Well, we'll see. Anyway, so in, and then in the back, I think that's all of the, that. And then in the back, I have, um, first thing I've included, more napkins, and then another set of, these are stickers, three-dimensional stickers, and more napkins. And then this was the little, I always like to do little, little handmade things to put in, because to me that's the fun part. So, I always give a little piece of myself, by giving a little piece of my artwork, more or less. And so this is another Wilton um, treat bag. Those are fun. I really like this pattern and I like playing with these. And I just, I taped the bottom up and uh, and so it made a little pocket. And I used some Tim Holtz washi tape 
which she can take off if she wants to and play with. And then here's some little bird tags that I made. There's a couple of little tags that she could, she can play with, do anything she wants with those. And then inside, there is this tag that I made. I made this outside in my backyard while I was looking at nature. So, to me, it has a very organic, nature-y feel, and I actually love this, but I'm sending it away so somebody else can love it. And then, also inside the treat bag, and now this is really cool, because if you saw, I'm, you know, if you're on my Facebook, if you visit my Facebook, you'll know that I, at one of my estate sales the other day, I found some vintage um, stickers from the National Wildlife Federation. And so these are from, I believe they're from 1944. I can't see it too well right now, but they're from the 1940s, these little stickers. And uh, unless there's a big one, I'm not sure if I put a big one in or not. The larger ones were the 50s, but but these were um, nature stickers. And uh, let me see if I can get one close to the surface, because they're so lovely. I just don't want to take apart the whole thing, but if I can get one to come out a little bit. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? These are so beautiful. I was so happy to find them. I found a bunch of them in a um, in an envelope at an estate sale. Like somebody else, like me, was collecting them with other kinds of little ephemera, and they were perfect for this, so I had to include some of them. These were some that I had repeats of, so I, I thought that Jackie would enjoy those. At least I hope so. So, that's what's in that little treasure bag and I think that that is about it so I need to find a way to attach this I really like that flower right there but I don't want to glue it because nothing's supposed to be too permanent on this stuff and I want her to be able to use it so anyway so I'm going to tuck this back in and I'm going to tuck these back in the center where I had them and uh, I'm going to thank you all for being here. I'm Bettina Makeley, a.k.a. Fairy Web Mother. I'm so glad you stopped by the lab today to watch me uh, open this journal. And uh, have a wonderful day. Um, Jackie, this will, well, I was going to say this will be on its way to you, but I never post these until after my swap partner receives the, <laughs> the journal. So I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, have a great day, you guys. And remember to choose love.